We've seen how the diverging diamond works in D'Iberville and seen how it could conceptually work in Baldwin County. Soon we'll see it for real. I'm just anxious to see how it all works out uh, and I feel it's going to be a super improvement. Henry Enet lives in a housing development off Highway 90 near the 181 I-10 interchange. A lot of the traffic that normally goes to the shopping centers near here will be redirected by their neighborhood. Most homeowners told me that they can deal with the problems construction creates as long as the project helps the area. The intersection already too busy as it is. With people trying to turn left onto the interstate in front of cars coming on and I've had to throw my brakes on a many a time to keep from having a little fender better right there myself. The project will be an inconvenience for the next few days and they're optimistic that it will be done on time. Crews are working uh, around the clock, 24 hours. Um, so they'll be shifting in and out. So they'll never be downtime at the interchange. If the weather holds out, ALDOT officials say they should have the interchange reopened before dawn Wednesday. Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.